on today's show, we'll be giving you guys some information on Military Competition Week brought to you by ST's own Military Support Club. ASB executive elections are also coming up soon, so stay tuned to get some details if you're interested in being a candidate. But first, the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning, Santa Teresa. I'm Annie. And I'm Matt. So, Annie, what's up with all the red, white, and blue? It's not the 4th of July yet. Uh, well, you know, I know. I'm just feeling patriotic. But towards ST, because uh, we have ASB exec elections coming up soon, and I figured that, you know, I should show my support. Maybe you should have just worn the school colors, like orange and blue. Um, whatever. This is just the first thing that came to mind. But anyway... Starting today, Military Support Club will be holding Military Competition Week all throughout Friday, March 13th. So if you have any questions, make sure to ask a Military Support Club member. Okay, two really quick things. One, ASL Club meets Thursdays at, at lunch in room 522. And two, let's take a look at the weather for this week. Matt, do you know what ASB is even like? Like, I know they do spirit weeks and stuff, but what is the class itself like? I'm not entirely sure. I've never actually been there, but I do think Lauren has a story for us to clear that up. Hi, Santa Teresa. My name is Ms. Vanderveen, and I am your activities director and Santa Teresa High School's ASB advisor. Leadership class is like a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. Um, ASB is a very interactive class, and I think that makes it different. It brings together all the classes. Like outside, usually the freshmen don't hang out with the seniors and the juniors, like don't like the sophomores or something. But in ASB, it brings everyone together, and we're like a family. The students in here are the students that you see on campus who really enjoy being at school and work super hard to make things happen, and they are super passionate about making stuff happen to involve the school and make school a better environment for them to be at. Working with all these businesses and doing all this stuff at such a young age is weird and so it just made me grow up really fast and mature myself and I've learned a lot through ASB. What I have learned in ASB is I have learned how to communicate well with other people in order to achieve a common goal. And I've also learned that people skills is one of the greatest things you can possibly and ASB has always been a safe place for me where I can be like totally goofy and totally myself and it's made me really just come out of my shell and be more confident as a person. I think that any student that wants to be involved in this school or just wants to have a great time should take ASB. This is the great best opportunity to have your changes be made and I recommend it to everyone. The thing about ASB is that we're a group of students who represent the entire school so there's maybe 50 kids in here but we're in charge of representing 2,500 students. We want to reach out to more different types of people and I think that's why ASB is perfect for any student on campus because it's the perfect way to get them on track to being involved. ASB is not just painting posters all day. 
We have a lot of things to do. Yeah, it's like a lot of work and everything, but it has been like a lot of fun, and it's really cool just to be like in the know about stuff. The ASB room becomes your home. You're in here a lot of the time, and you're just so comfortable with this area. You get so much more comfortable with the people around you, and the people really do become family to you, and you're so close, and like these relationships in ASB will last forever. You know, wow, it really seems like ASB is a family environment and everybody is like driven to like make a change. Yeah, right, it looks like such a fun time. You know, yearbooks are a fun time. If you guys haven't purchased a yearbook yet, then hop to it because they're only being sold for $110. Uh, but you better hurry because the price will soon increase to $120 in April, and if you decide to order yours online, use the order number 7779. <sighs> Matt, do you know what's up with Sadie's? No, man, I have no clue. Come to think of it, we, really, we haven't really heard from our class officers in a while, huh? Yeah, maybe they have some information about that as well as some other stuff. Let's get the update from them. I'm Brooklyn Dominguez, your ASB president, and I have a few announcements for you on behalf of um, the executives. The talent show just happened and it was a great success, so thank you to all those who came out. Um, and congratulations to the first, second, and third place winners and People's Choice winners. Um, we have Fantastics as our next big event on March 27th in the gym, so please make sure you head out there and support your class. Also, we have um, Two more club rushes, one for April and one for May. So make sure that you do your necessary paperwork if you're a club and wanting to sell some food. Um, please do it ahead of time. The sooner the better. A couple of updates for you guys. So um, if you guys ordered a senior class shirt, those are going to be in by this Friday. So you guys will be able to pick them up in the ASB room after school. So if you ordered one, make sure you stop by. Um, for Fantastics, we have practices on Mondays and Wednesdays from 7 to 9 at the outdoor stage, so if you're in Fantastics, uh, make sure you guys are there. Uh, the rally is going to be March 27th, so make sure you guys come out, support our last Fantastics. And the last thing would be um, Senior Ball. So uh, most of you guys are super excited about it. Invites are going to be passed out super duper soon, and we will be announcing the venue and theme to you guys within the next week and a half or so. So make sure you guys look out for that. Um, one of our updates is that Junior Prom is April 18th at Bay Club Santa Clara. And our theme is Moonlight on the Amazon. Tickets go on sale today, $50 for single and $90 for couples. Prices will go up as the date gets closer. We also have a fundraiser at Golfland coming up over spring break. It starts on April 6th and goes through April 8th. The time is anytime after 4 p.m. Go out and support. Uh, Sadie's has been postponed and it's not going to be a Sadie's. The sophomores are thinking of doing an event later on this year to replace Sadie's. So we'd appreciate it if you all guys come out for that. Details are to follow. As Fantastics goes, we have our meetings Wednesdays and Thursdays from 7 to 9. Uh, locations vary depending on the day, uh, of course, with our advisors. And we need people for the pyramid and participants and the dances. So if you're interested in being in the pyramid, and participating in games, but you're not interested in being in skit, let one of your officers know. You still need to turn in a grade check and buy a t-shirt and turn it in to us as soon as possible. Everything's appreciated. Gracias. Hi, I'm Sarah Clark, freshman VP. Hi, I'm Richard. If you're an upcoming sophomore next year and you want to be an ASB, make sure to go to schselections2015.weebly.com. If you have any more questions or concerns, follow our Twitter at STHSCO18 and follow our Instagram at STHSCO2018. <laughs> Come out and support ST Robotics' third annual Zoomathon on Saturday, March 28th from 9 to 11.30. It'll take place in the ST Gym where you can get down to some great music and exercise at the same time. Tickets are only $20 and all the money goes to support the ST Robotics Club. Make sure to invite your friends and your family uh, so you have a workout buddy. And FYI, there will be free babysitting for anyone in need. You can buy a ticket from any robotics member uh, or Miss Demas in room 412 at or at the door of the event. And now for the club slide.
some quick sports announcements. Today we have men's golf versus Gunderson at, San, at the Santa Teresa Golf Course at 315. And on Tuesdays there's men's tennis uh, versus independence from 315 to 515. And then at 3.30 there will be a men's golf match versus Lincoln at the Santa Teresa Golf Course. Uh, and lastly, there will be a varsity boys baseball game versus Sacred Heart Cathedral from 4 to 6 p.m. On Thursday, there's going to be a men's golf match versus Gunderson at the Spring Valley Golf Course from 3.15 to 6.15 p.m. And also at 3.15 there will be a men's tennis match against Andrew Hill. Friday, the swimming and diving team will travel to Willow Glen to compete against Piedmont Hill at 3 p.m. And lastly, on Saturday, there will be a varsity boys baseball game against Soquel at 1.30 p.m. Okay, so one pretty uh, cool last thing that you guys need to know about is that our little class here at Broadcasting, we have a cool website that you guys should check out. It's sthsnews.weebly.com. And Matt, what is on this magical website? Well, Annie, the site contains many things like information on upcoming shows and show themes. Links to Twitter and a link to the broadcasting announcements document. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with that being said, if you guys have any announcements, be sure to send them to tinyurl.com forward slash the cast. Or check out the cool website. And follow at SDHS News on Twitter so you can get updates and inside content. I'm Matt. And I'm Annie. See you next time. Oh. Uh, what? ASL Cleveland. Ah. Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> ASL Cleveland. ASL Cleveland.